hello it is september 6 25 after 3 in the afternoon i came home from work today and found this on my front yard well i kind of knew it was going to be there can you see it it's a for sale sign i did it I think I told you I signed the papers and last weekend I was getting everything ready and I worked like a dog all weekend long. I was cutting my grass on Sunday and my lawnmower died, died. And then I got it started again. It was blowing smoke so it needs oil. And I was trying to get it started again and it has a little bypass switch that a fellow put on for me because there's something, I don't know, electrical going on. And he fixed it, but this I went I hit the switch and it broke off. So I couldn't turn it off. I was like, oh no, what am I gonna do? And then uh I was close enough to a workbench that uh there was a pair of pliers there and it just there was enough of a nub for me to turn it off. But anyways, my neighbor saved the day and come over and finished my yard up for me and we talked about it and he said that he'd keep it up for me. He said he was gonna rake or uh he has a sweeper, but he never did get back, but he, I mean, he's got a life too. So I do need to get out and rake that. I should have had that raked before they took the pictures, but you want to know what? I ran out of steam. I just ran out of steam. And I thought if somebody doesn't buy my house because I didn't rake my yard, that person's not meant to, meant to buy my house. And I'm, I'm perfectly happy with that decision. I got home Tuesday night and virtually collapsed because I had worked so hard all weekend. I mean, I'm seeing every little speck of dust and dirt and, you know, I, I just got into that almost obsessive compulsive thing. And I mean, you can only make a place so clean and then you got to start all over again. So, but it's up on, you know, the uh, site and I'm not giving my address. This is a whole different ball game. me doing these videos. Didn't show this part here for whatever reasons. There is a 3D tour and the house show is really nice. My sister was really impressed. She was like oohing and on and everything. But too bad they didn't show this hallway coming in. That light, I mean, that's so pretty, but doesn't matter. I could take a picture of that. Oh, oh, oh I'm not going to turn you around. I know when I do that, it's kind of makes you sick to your stomach. But it does show this bathroom, so that's nice. It's kind of uh, dreary out right now. And I have to keep the house like this. I have to act like I don't even live here. So dishes have to be done. I mean, this is good exercise for me. And when I, like if I go out, swoop this stuff up, throw it in my, what I've been doing is throwing it in my oven drawer down there. Because, uh, I mean, I could get a phone call that somebody wants to come in, walk through the house. So I have to make it like there's nobody living here. Make sure my dishes are done at all times. I was sitting there having a coffee. Put my computer away. I'm going out with my girlfriend in a little while. I'm, I'm wired, meaning... <laughs> Not meaning what it meant back in the, the 80s. I'm just keyed up. And uh, yeah, I need to put my phones away too because I don't want... But I, I'm not doing that every time. I'll just leave them. If the phone, phone rings, the phone rings. Like I'll, I'll, I'll unplug them for the open house. Put that away, which is on Sunday from 1 till 3. And uh, yeah. Yeah, the pictures come out really good. Really good, really nice. It's like when this place is, uh, you know, neat and tidy, it looks good. It looks good. So fix my pillow. But people aren't looking at that. I mean, they are looking to see. They, they see it's a well-loved house, the potential it has. We've priced it to sell. Got a, an inspection done. There's a few things, you know, one that kind of concerns me that... You know, but it's like it, it'll, the price reflects that. And, uh, oh yeah, the bathroom looks really good in the pictures. Like my sister was just oohing and on, like, oh, it looks so good. It looks so good. 
in this bedroom. Like all the bedrooms just show so pretty, so well taken care of. You know, like that's a pretty picture, eh? Isn't that pretty? I love that. But I did it. <laughs> Can you believe it? And I'm like, oh my gosh, what have I done? But I, I, I want, I don't want to live out here anymore. I don't, I want to be in town. I want to be around people. Like I want to be able to get to the church real quick and join things and stuff like that and not be driving for miles. I just don't want to do that. So yeah, this looks like a nice kid's bedroom. Now it did show that closet like that. And that looks like a basket of dirty clothes, but it's actually a basket of toys. So I should have had the, I should have done it like this. And put the little dog sitting up like that. That would have been cute. That would have been cute. Oh, too bad I didn't do that. Because you would have been able to see him. Silly me. Oh, well. But this looks really nice. Like it shows really nice. So I'm pleased. I'm exhausted. Did I say I come home Tuesday night? And just, just collapsed. Because I worked. Oh, I solved my problem at work. It, it, it actually turned out not to be a problem. It, it, I thought I'd fixed it, and then I got the statement, the monthly statement from the company, and it's like it all worked out perfect. And then I had other problems. I'm going to miss my wildlife. Look at a little sparrow come to visit me. Yeah, I'm going to miss my wildlife. And I had other problems at work, and I was behind, and man, I got, I did... I did, I'm pleased with the progress I made this week. I got caught up on a lot of things, still got things hanging over my head, but it's like chug, 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 chug. And it was a short week and it's like, and we're still having difficulty with our syncing system for to sync up our uh, time clock with our, you know, accounting, paycheck, payroll system. And it's kind of a pain because now I have no control over it. I have to, I'm dependent on two other people to do something before I can do my job for payroll. And I mean, you know, the one, it's just, it's, I wish I was in, well, the one girl has to do it because she's running, she's, she's running the guys, the dispatcher. She needs their time. Like, I'm not going to start managing the guy's time that way. That would be crazy, crazy pants. She does that. But I used to sync. I used to use this, you know, app to sync the time clock with our QuickBooks. And somehow something went unhinged and uh, wasn't able to do that for weeks and weeks and finally got that fixed. But now my operations manager, it's on his computer, not mine. So it's like, what do I do when he's not there? So I guess we have to figure that out. But anyways, it, I, I didn't get, I didn't even get everything, all, everything I needed till Tuesday before I was about to leave for the day. And so I had to go in and I like getting my payroll done Tuesday for Thursday's pay, but I had it all ready to go. And then got in early Wednesday, got it all done by, you know, afternoon. Anyways, I'm rambling. So. There's my house, going out with a friend. Woo, my son just texted me because I sent him a picture of the for sale sign. I was like, wow, did it, did it. So, okay, okay, gonna go and we'll see where I'm at next time. Uh, praying, did I say this already? This is how tired I am. I don't know what I've said and what I haven't said. I was talking to my sister and I'm worried about things, you know, because there's, there's a few things. Everything's reflected in the price of the house. So, and she said to me, and it calms me down every time she says it. Well, she said it and then I keep saying it to myself. I've done everything I can. And it's like, she said that you have done everything you can. And then I realize everything else, I've done everything I can. It's in God's hands now. So anyways, house is for sale. God bless. Take care.